What's up guys, Dre with Overland Tundras and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a four year review on my iCamper SkyCamp 2.0. So it has been four years, I live in Florida and we have some rough weather here with wind, a lot of sun, a lot of heat. So in case you're looking to buy one, let me show you exactly what happens after four years. So let's get into it. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and just start with uh, external shell. I'm gonna zoom in or get really close to it. The hard shell is fading significantly. I don't know if the video can capture it, but top part is completely faded. There's still a nice gloss and sheen here, but this rooftop tent has seen a lot of tree branches, does have a lot of scratches, and of course, the Florida sun. It is very brutal. Um, as you can see, the letters are significantly faded. Um, they are not peeling, but they're supposed to be chrome and red. Um, as you can continue to see, all this area over here, the eye camper, um, this is where the hinges are. That's still nice and silver. It looks like that was stainless, so very nice. So overall, um, it's held well. The top is just faded. A lot of people, and actually iCamper is offering it now where they are offering the Rhino line um, texture for the new ones. So let me get a little bit closer up here. And then you can see some more scratches. You can see the fading, but overall the texture is held very nicely. It's not, it's not cracked or anything like that. So really like it. Let's go ahead and open it up and talk real quick about the hinges. As you can see, this is where my water tank goes. There's, this is all steel. There's a lot of uh, surface rust, which I need to clean and take care of. But the hinges over here, they did them well. No rust, it gets a lot of sun. This has always been on the truck. Um, you can see it opens up easily, never lubricated the keys or anything like that. Um, it just opens up nicely, no issues. Cable right here is clean again no rust no nothing no issues opening it up at all super easy so super happy with that because um on a previous tent that i had different parts and components got rusted and it just made it kind of uh uncomfortable not uncomfortable but a pain to deal around those things so super excited about these let's go ahead and open it up and then we'll show you everything else so let me put this camera down and open it up real quick. All right, so went ahead and opened it up and here is where we start having issues. This is the rainfly, which helps, or actually is what keeps the rain out of your tents. So we were on a camping trip and I forgot where we were. Actually it was North Carolina and it started raining and because of the sun, you can see it is faded. This is supposed to be completely clear, but it's yellow because of moisture, because of humidity and everything, this basically dry rotted and just started crumbling. So that was our number one issue. And you can almost see that it's like burnt because of the heat. These are still nice and soft, but the rest just crumbled. So this is the front part. And unfortunately we got wet. I had to put a, a bag on that part right there, which is raises up and it's kind of a sunroof, a moon gazer, whatever you want to call it. And we didn't get wet, but for a while we did get wet because we we're trying to figure out what was going on. Also, this window over here, once I open it up completely, you might be able to see it as well. All the plastic dry rotted. The good thing is that there is replacements for it. I reached out to iCamper and they said, no worries, we sell this rain fly. So they went ahead and hooked it up with the rain fly. Unfortunately, they didn't have the correct rain fly for this tent because this was one of the first ones that came out and not exactly sure what happened, but they went ahead and sent me the whole skin. So we're not only going to be replacing this rain fly, rain guard, but the whole skin. And I'll probably do that in another video um, as this one's just going to be a review of the tent. But as you can see, four years old, full disclosure, this was actually my buddies that I bought off of him, but we always camped together, did everything together, and I saw everything this tent went through. I've had it for about a year now, 
but um, awesome tint, love it. So let me open, completely open it up and we can look at more details in there. All right, let's start making a way up here to the tent. I have a light set up so we can see a little bit more in detail, all the components and right here, what I was mentioning to you guys. So you can see this window with this plastic window. You can see that it's faded. You can see that it's peeling, dry rotting. And that is the same issue that we're having up here with the rain guard. Besides that, everything else is great. No funny smells. We do clean it, vacuum it, and try to stay, and try to keep it as clean as possible with no moisture and stuff in here, even though we have sand, dirt, dust, just a little bit of everything gets here in here because of trips. But as you can see, the cloth isn't faded. Um, I'm sure it's a little whiter when it's new, but um, everything else looks great. All the components, no rust. Um, everything is great. The shocks work great. Um, the pole over here, this rod, everything's good. The mesh, mesh is great. So again, we will be switching all this out. Hopefully it's not too much of a pain, but it looks like it's just um, little, little guided slots that just go into the rail and then you're good to go. And I think there might be a couple zippers, but overall we also did get these self-inflating mattresses that are great because the one that it comes with the eye camper, not the most comfortable to be honest with you. All right, so let's go ahead and get down and do a 360 view of it all set up. I'm not gonna open the windows because it's kind of a pain with the rods and not much to see there but let's walk around it. Ladder's great, I love this ladder. No issues with that ladder ever. But walking around, the cloth still looks great. Um, there is a couple stains from water and I think that was like pollen or something, but overall, again, the shell looks great. No cracks, it is scratched up. Most likely what I'm gonna do is probably get it sand down a little bit, cleaned up and do a wrap on it, put like overland tundras on there. I think that would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, great show. Um, I'm actually super excited to get the new skin on it because it's essentially gonna be a new tent, new skin, and then I'll get that either painted or wrapped, like I said, and then we'll be good to go. So overall, I'm super excited that I did get this one. Underneath looks great, no issues. Again, my bed rack has a lot more rust than uh, any, anything you can see on the tent, which most of it is aluminum. But again, everything looks really good. No, the, the metal, the sheet metal, none of it is dented that I can see. It's all just, all looks nice and smooth and held up pretty well. And to let you guys know, four of us sleep in here, two adults, two kids. Uh, right now, the girls are 13 and 14 and we can all still fit in there. So we love this thing and super excited to get it refreshed. So definitely, I'd give this thing uh, five stars just because great customer service. It's held up to this day through everything that we've put it through. And I can refresh it with a new skin and I would just have to touch up the, the shell. So really like if you guys are looking for forward to uh, a rooftop tent, definitely recommend these um, sky camps. This is the 2.0, I believe there's a 3.0 right now, so definitely check those out.